hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today i am going to show you how you can manually disable plugins in your wordpress website let's say that you recently have installed a plugin but you forget to check the compatibility and that plugin is causing an error due to which you cannot have access to the admin area of your wordpress website so many times you will face this issue if you are running a wordpress website you will install a plugin and due to that plugin you won't be able to access the admin area of your wordpress website so what you will do in that condition the solution is you have to manually disable the plugin which is causing error and for that you have to get access to the cpanel of your website okay like i'm running a wordpress website this one bhatti.com and let's suppose that we are having issue with this website and i am not going to have access to the admin area of this website so i am going to disable some plugins in this website so what we have to do we have to first of all get login to the cpanel of our website and for that i have to simply type the domain name slash cpanel and then press the enter key you will get the login screen cpanel login screen of your website and here you have to enter the username and password and then you have to press login after login you will see your cpanel options like this and don't get confused here if you are seeing a different interface all these options are going to be same on your cpanel also only it can be a difference of theme so what you have to find here you have to find file manager either you can use this search bar or you can scroll down and you can find it file manager here it is so click on this after getting into file manager you have to get inside public html and here you have to find out that whether you have directly installed wordpress in public html or you have created some another directory so if you have created another directory you have to get inside that directory or else you will get these files like this you can see here these folders wp admin wp content wp includes and all these wordpress files are here so it simply means that i have installed directly in public html so here you have to find this folder wp content and you will double click on this you will get inside this and you will find this folder here plugins so double click on this and what you will see inside this all these folders so these are individual folders for each plugin installed on your wordpress website so let me zoom in a little bit so that you can clearly see so these are plugins i have installed on my website right now so let's say that this first one is causing an error on my website and due to this plugin i cannot access to the admin area of my website so how i can disable this plugin so that i can have access to the admin area of my website simply you have to click on the name of this folder and then either you erase an alphabet or you can erase more alphabet simply you have to actually change the name of this folder and this is going to disable that particular plugin okay now let's say that you want to disable all the plugins so what you will do i am going one level up from here so that i can get on to this page previous page here you can see this plugins if you will change the name of this folder then press enter key then all the plugins are going to be disabled but make sure you create another directory here with the same exact name plugins with this option folder create new folder like this you have to type exact same name plugins so that you may not get any error for not having plugins folder but if you will change the name here of this plugins folder 
then all the plugins are going to be disabled and when you will create another directory then all plugins you have to once again install on your WordPress website so that's a big process so rather than disabling all the plugins you get inside plugins folder and find out which plugin is causing error and simply disable that plugin by changing the name or simply by deleting that folder so this is how you can manually disable any plugin or all the plugins on your WordPress website if you cannot have access to the admin area of your website so thanks for watching please like please subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment below if you are having any issue regarding this see you next video